lane. But it's going to be a tough matchup all around for them again with those three strong picks. Pawn bringing out talent for the first time here. It's going to be quite interesting. And you can't let so pop over to Twitter. Tell us who you think will come out ahead. Use the hashtag SSWWIN or SHRWIN and send us your answers to at LOL Esports. Saved here a little oh, by Dandy. I don't think he's going to do anything with it he's just yet. They're waiting for Insect. He comes in. The level six is actually used to trying it out. Dandy may have bitten off more than he can chew on this one. He's forced to get out. Doesn't Whoa. want to get the red buff over. There's the teleport. There's the red carpet laid out. But it's first blood going over. That's the second one for Cola. Insect will fall. Pawn coming in. Tries to get Talon on the end. He's going to try and get that cutthroat down. And he does get a good cut. That goes Here's over onto Uzi. But it's going to be Korn. Can he start to clean things up? They continue the fight. Sandy very low from this one. Loop are also going low. They're scared that Cola will go down. Turn! Whoa! Gets himself gone. They're going to kill Cola. Who will take one with him? And just like that. Everyone going down across the map. It's only Looper that manages to... Look at this after that mess. It's Royal Club that will actually be moving first of all towards the Dragon Pit. will take it and give them... Those very low-timed alties. Cola already throws it off. He's just looking for the speed now as he's full health. Hit the turret, guys. You're taking a lot of damage. Uh -oh. Pawn may actually go down to this. Flashes back as Looper does take to the turret. Throws down the equalizer for the slow. Cola's going to pick up a kill. They do take down Korn as he comes in a little late. And that was an ill-advised fight to continue with for Royal Club. Dandy's timing was 25 CS haunting guys. Got his sorcerer shoes. And now him and Matt are going to look for something down the bottom. Can they catch one out? Howling Gale will land on to Zero, but Uzi and Zero turn this one around. Exhaust has been exchanged. He's put the exhaust onto the support, and Imp's going to try and clean up from this one. Zero will surely fall. Uzi should be able to get away, but it's a kill for him. What an all by Mata right there to come. This one, knowing they're clearing out one pick here, they're biding their time, but they don't know him is right there. Sneakily coming out, Dandy enters the brush to get himself the jump, and Imp's going to finalize the kill on Pawn, who just came back from base. Corn came ahead. You're out there from Mata. Nope, the diving on Corn in the mid lane, and he's, I'm afraid, dead from that. There is Insect, though. What can he do? Surely we'll be able to finish off Pawn. He's actually just left. Oh, no! And the invisibility. Whoa! And they go down! comes in, Howling Gale into a monsoon to knock it. Macha may always be waiting in the wings. He stops him right there with the shield, allows the dams to turn around. Him taking a little Michael. too much here. He will go down. Mata can't get to every lane that fast, even with mobility boots on Janna. Save. However, Royal Club knows the Twitch is dead. That timely kill was really bad for White. However, here comes the rumble. Teleport with Leandri's in just the right spot. This is dangerous. Dragon down to half looper coming around the side. He'll force Uzi first out there. He's pawn as well. Can they finish him off the burn? He's not oh even my the gosh. equalizer comes down. Looper unstoppable. They've killed off Insect there at the back. And it's not over yet. They will hook in matter, but pawn is still there. Here comes Dandy leaping into the back. But can they lock down? Now Looper. Looper joining him from the side. He's going under the tower and he manages to dominate. Taking out Korn as well. Amazing. They put a little bit too much investment into the dragon. Then they stole it away. And now it's just ugly. This is where they run away by Looper's rumble. And Dandy doesn't even care about that word. This is a little bit much to try and get down. Looking to take a bite out of Cola right here. He doesn't have much to run on except for that equalizer. He has to turn tide. Insect's going to put himself in the fight here, but I don't know if he can handle this 2v2. Uzi and Zero coming up on the outside. Insect's got the burn on. It looks like he'll stay alive from that one. Pawn comes in with the exhaust on him, but they're going to be able to at least finalize one kill here. That's going on to Zero. Two bleeding and blinking red on Cola and approach. Again, the Korn, window's always open. Corn was slow to that rotation. Pawn beat him there, and Samsung White takes down yet another Baron because everyone gets pushed away. 22 minutes only, they secure. Baron down the shock blast through the acceleration gate of Corn, not in the right place at the right. To do that, Baron buff circling around them for another three minutes. Look Uzi in the top lane, he lays down a bit of fire on the ground, but he's gonna have to go over the equalizer flame to get there, taking too much damage. It finalizes that one. They're gonna press, looks like they can't even get to this dragon either. The gold lead is just surmounting right now for White.
Looking at 13,000, 16 to 7 in the waves as we... Top lane is a couple of levels difference, and White are going to walk in there. Oh, They're probably going to dive. It's Insect that'll be the first target. Equalizer goes down. Kohler's already at half, but they want the squishies first. Zero's going down. Kohler, he's still in the mix, but will he get away from it? There is him going mad at the back. He will get another one, and that's four men down just like that. And right now, Samsung White is trying to make this the fastest world final average game time in history. They are well on pace to do that. They should end the game on this push because nobody died and four members are down for Royal Club. Staying true to the sub 30 minute games on this one. Cola doing what he can, but as Freak says, he falls flat in that situation and it's going to be the second Nexus turret going down. They're looking to make this one a 27 minute victory with a say, wait a minute, we're low. There could be resets coming in for Insect. We have to reset and play the safe. Well, Insect did enough there to actually oh, back off, but did no. he? He's gonna come in, Port flashes over as Explosive. well, and they pick up another kill, and we'll just back off saying, okay. For this one, and it looks like the final push may be had here. Kills going down to Royal Club, it could be Uzi going down, he's forced to use Summoner Heal, one last shot, and the Venom takes him down, Insect falls just as fast, right after Uzi, that's four instant kills, Cola only living because he has the HP to do so, and the Nexus having less than him is going to go down quite fast, they keep it under 30 minutes, the final hits call it 29-12 on the clock, game two to White, game point for the 2014 World Championship and really world championship point is upcoming three more games for samsung white they just have to win one of them and it doesn't seem like they are too worried about that next one however we've seen so many best of fives in the past you can never call it over after two matches however both these matches are sub 30 minutes and this time they actually looked a little bit challenged for the first 12 minutes by Starhorn Royal Club, but after that, it's like they flipped a switch and turned it on. Yeah, and if you look, I mean, the scoreboard at the end telling a big tale that you can see the laugh on Uzi's face, and I think a lot of teams have maybe felt this.